Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the use of depends on methods attribute in TestNG library? Let me answer. By specifying this attribute before a method, that method can depend on one or more methods. Okay, let me practically demonstrate how that is possible. So for that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample test ng project in that we have a class. Here, I'll create some method public void sample one method and uh, I'll convert this method into the test ng test method first of all at the rate test. Okay, for the mouse, for the mouse on this method and import this from test ng library and simply write down system.out.println and uh, sample one method got executed. Okay, then I'll create few more methods. So here I'll just give the priority as one for this method so that it will run first. Okay, priority is equal to one. So if there are multiple test, test ng test methods here, the priority one method will run first. Okay, this one has a second priority and just make it sample two. Okay, so now, here I'll say sample to method got executed. Okay. Sample to method got executed. Okay. Done. Then I'll copy this one and create one more. And here I'll simply give depends on methods attribute and say is equal to if you want to specify only one method name, then you can do like this. Okay. Uh, sample one you can say okay this one is three and this one is also three okay if you have only one method you can write like this depends on methods is equal to sample one so this method is only going to be dependent on sample one if the sample one method gets executed then only sample three method will get executed if this fails okay if if this is executed and uh, is passed then this will be executed but if this method got executed but failed, in that case, this method won't be executed because this method is depending on this method, which need to be passed for this dependent method to get executed. Otherwise, it won't be executed, guys. Okay, so let's run this and see. So at this time, this one is going to be executed and is going to get passed. There is nothing in this uh, code which is going to fail this uh, test method. So, okay, since it's going to be executed and pass, this method, which is depending on sample one method, will definitely get executed. Let me right click and say run as a test ng test. You will see all the three test methods will be executed. The output you can see is sample one method got executed, sample three method got executed, sample two method got executed. Okay, fine. This method got executed because this got executed. Now what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to write some code which is going to fail this test method in the i is equal to 10 divided by zero. So this statement is going to throw an exception known as arithmetic exception. Because of this, the test ng test method is going to fail. Or I can provide an assertion saying asset dot asset, asset dot fail or something also. That's also fine. Somehow, because of an assertion error or exception, the test method is going to fail because this gets failed. This won't be executed. Okay. We can see that now. Only this method and this method will get executed, but this sample three method will not get executed this time. You see, sample one got executed, sample two got executed, but can you see anywhere sample three got executed? No. Okay. Because of the arithmetic exception in the sample one method, the dependent method got skipped. It got skipped, guys. Okay. Sample one got failed because of which the dependent method got skipped. And there's one more thing where we are using this attribute. This method can not only depend on, on a single method like sample one. I can make this method dependent on multiple more than one method. So I can put curly braces here like this curly braces and put a comma here. And I can provide all the list of uh, test methods on which the sample three method is dependent on. Okay. 
I'll remove this code, which is going to throw an exception and fail this test. Now, both of these uh, test methods on which the sample three is dependent on are going to be executed and are going to get passed and sample three method also will get executed. Okay, so let's run this. So sample one and sample two are going to get executed and get passed. So sample three also will get executed. Sample one got executed, sample two got executed without any issues, no failures. So sample three also got executed. If any of these methods on which the sample three method, test method is dependent on fails, then this is not going to get executed. For example, here I'll say int i is equal, or I'll simply write as a dot fail, okay, directly fail. When this statement get executed, the test will fail since one of the test method out of this uh, test methods on which this particular test method is dependent on is failing. Hence, sample three method will get skipped and it won't get executed, okay? This one will pass. This one is going to fail because of assert.fail and because of which this method, which is dependent on these two test methods, if one of these methods out of this list of methods fail, then this method also will fail. Right click, say run as test and test. See, sample one method got executed, sample two method got executed, and, and sample three got fail. I mean, uh, you know, sample uh, sample one got executed, sample two got executed, but it got failed. You see, one of the test method which on which sample three is uh, dependent on got failed here, and because of which sample three got skipped. It didn't get executed. Okay. So, hope guys, you got the answer for this question. That is, what the use of depends on methods attribute in test ng. So if uh, any of the methods on which uh, uh, this attribute specified method fails, okay, dependent method fails, then this method provided with this attribute will not get executed. Okay, that's the purpose. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.